Hello, my name is Volkmar Rollenbeck. I'm the product manager at Brose. We produce drives and now we present the complete Brose drive system. I'll start with our displays. This is the all-round display. Looks similar to current smartwatches, has about the same size as a typical smartwatch. It has six buttons, one on off on the front, which you don't use that much. But the two most important is the support level change and these are very easy and very convenient to reach. The walk assist is below here, leaving you enough space for dropper post remote or for shifting. Up here we have a menu and a light button. We come to the next, which is our remote. It basically is the same device as the around, except it doesn't have a screen. The remote can also be used with this big central display. As you can tell, it's still a printout and it's still 3D, so it's still in the making. But with that, you have a full information board. So what we have here is now the different support levels. And after a couple of seconds, it switches back to the menu that you choose here. Eco, Tour, Sport, Boost. On this bike, we have a Drive s -Mac, so it also has the boost level, which has the flex power mode, which gives you more power in higher cadences. So what we have here is the first time that we present our own battery. So this is a Brose battery, it's called 630, which implies the watt hours that it has. It has 630 watt hours of riding fun included in here. And the frame that we see here can offer a lot of uh, opportunities for the future to make it even slimmer, to make it even smaller. We also have a drive S-Mac, so our top of the line drive, which is made of magnesium, hence the name S-Mac. S, of course, stands for sport. In my hand here, I have a cutaway model of the drive S-Mac. So this is our magnesium platform. We've saved over 500 grams and 25% in size between the aluminum platform and the magnesium platform. This is the actual electrical motor. It consists of magnets and copper windings. We operate around 1600 to 4500 RPM in this electrical motor. So we have to <clears throat> bring down that speed with this drive here. Ah, let me see if I, there you they can see it. So we bring it down. This is actually made out of high grade composite plastic. So we don't have any metal flakes, we also don't have any noise, and it's also um, maintenance free because it's self-lubricating. Yeah? And it's also, as you can see, it has a square shape for these bevels because the typical sound that you have in Formula One is the high whining noise, this that's really from the drives. It's not as much from the motor, it really is from the straight phased bevels that they use in Formula One. We don't have that in this system. Then we put the power down into this. This is also a composite piece which is magnesium um, coated. Yeah? So special technology that we use here. And it goes into this Gates belt drive. It's missing the, the scobbler here to put the right pressure on. Then we have this magnesium part which is the same as a pack of cigarettes so it's super super light even though it's big and this is one of the secrets to our drive because this is making it low vibration low noise and also gives a very smooth starting action we have two free wheels underneath here you can't see them sadly but they're hidden on here very very fine free wheels that have a much shorter engagement point than typical free hub buddies that you have in the rear also what you can see here is a six-piece torque sensor. This is really where our fine riding behavior comes from. This is the cadence sensor which tells the drive here it's actually moving. And of course it all is being computed in this PCB here. And this is of course then communicating with the rest of the bike, with the battery, with the display, etc. And this is where the magic happens. Rose Drive SMAC. 2019.